To achieve zero emissions for the industry, hydrogen plays an important role as feedstock and energy carrier. The industry needs large volumes of green hydrogen. To make enough green hydrogen, electrolyzers must be scaled up from the current 10 megawatt installations to gigawatt plants in the upcoming decade. ISPT helps the industry to achieve this. In 2020, we made a state-of-the-art design of a 1 gigawatt electrolyzer plant. We now present you a greenfield advanced design, which may be commissioned in one of the Dutch port areas in 2030. We reduce the plot size from 17 to 10 hectares. This reduction is equal to 10 football pitches. The plant uses offshore wind power, delivered at a 380 kV grid connection point, and is designed to operate according to a flexible wind profile. To prepare the electricity from the grid to the needs of the electrolyzers, electrical installations transform high to medium to low voltage. Rectifiers convert alternating current to a stable direct current. Novel alkaline and PEM electrolyzer stacks are used for splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. The innovative stacks are expected to achieve higher production rates by large surface areas and more cells, leading to larger power ratings. The 20 megawatt alkaline stacks have 335 cells at a current density of 1.3 amps per square centimetre. They use high-performance non-noble electrodes and operate at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. To explore the effect of different technologies, we also made a version of the design with 10 megawatt PEM stacks of 310 cells operating at a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. These stacks use high-performance materials, thinner membrane and less scarce materials. The electrodes materials contain reduced iridium loading at the anode and have a current density up to 3.5 amps per square centimetre. Besides the electrical part and the electrolyzers, we also investigated the balance of plant, which processes the hydrogen for delivery to end users. It is optimised and consists of separators with recirculation circuits, pumps and heat exchangers compression only for the alkaline design, and a purification, including deoxidizers and dryers. As the efficiency of electrolysis for new stacks is 80%, 20% of electricity supplied is transferred into heat. There is a separate cooling water system for the heat exchangers in the recirculation loop of the electrolyzers, allowing for future heat recovery and supply to a district heating network. The hydrogen will be delivered to industrial end-users through a hydrogen pipeline or backbone. This modular design enables standardization, phased development and deployment, and easy adaptation to newer technology generations and hybrid alkaline and PEM plants. We estimated the total installed cost of these designs through industrial standard cost estimations. Total installed cost accounts for all costs necessary to deliver a plant ready for operation. The costs for an advanced gigawatt green hydrogen plant in 2030 are about 730 euros per kilowatt for alkaline technology and 830 euros per kilowatt for PEM technology. More innovation needs to be done to achieve the cost reduction potential. We do this by research, pilots and demonstrations. Interested in being part of these further developments? Join our Hydro Hub Innovation Programme.